Welcome to the prayer channel. We are praying through the different names that God is referred to in the Bible. And as we explore these names, may they help you get a new revelation of who God is and his power and his nature. Today we're praying through the name that God is referred to when he's called Jehovah Shalom. Now Jehovah Shalom means God is our peace. And in Judges 6.24, Gideon builds an altar to the Lord after the Lord says to him, Peace be unto you, you will not die. And so in response to those words, God is referred to as Jehovah Shalom. Lord, we thank you that you truly are our Jehovah Shalom. Lord, you are the one that gives peace. You truly are a God of peace. And Lord, we look to you for the peace that we need to um, exist and the peace that we need to love and the peace that we need to live effectively, Lord. We need your peace in all circumstances and all situations, Lord. And today we just cry out fresh for your peace, for the peace that you give that surpasses all understanding. Lord, many are looking for your peace in wrong places or trying to find peace by looking um, into false religions or looking into narcotics and other substances that numb their emotions or give them a temporary sense of relief lord but you are truly the god that gives true peace true and lasting peace and lord today we just pray that you would fill us with your peace would you fill us with your peace, Lord, as you said in Isaiah 26, verse 3, Lord, you said that you would keep us in perfect peace if our mind is stayed on you because we trust you. And Lord, we truly do help our minds and encourage our minds and ask you that you would help our minds, Lord, stay in that perfect peace. Lord, as our minds meditate on your word, meditate on your scripture, read your scripture, consider your nature. Lord, would you help our minds stay in perfect peace in all circumstances? Lord, as we walk around, as we do our daily duties and work and care for others, Lord, and read and learn, go shopping, go for walks, Lord, all the normal things that we do, Lord, would you be in everything? Would you be that peace in everything? Lord, in our conversations, in our conduct, Lord, would you just be that banner of peace lord would we sense your presence at all times lord we're in a world full of conflict and turmoil we're in a world full of trouble and stress but lord we thank you lord that you sent us to our lord jesus to die on the cross for our sins lord and to be our atonement lord lord to be the atonement that we need lord to be forgiven by you and to enjoy everlasting life with you lord god we just thank you for the peace that that knowledge brings lord as we accept you as our lord and savior jesus we understand that we are transported from being in the darkness into the light and that gives us peace that gives us peace because we know that not everything we endure in this lifetime matters and in fact we need to look to eternity for all circumstances, for all of our conduct. We need to look beyond this earth to our eternal life with you in heaven. Lord, give us a good perspective today. Give us the God perspective. Give us the right perspective. Help us to be those that walk with that assurance and that peace, that sustainable peace that you were with us, that we have not been left behind, that we don't need to be under pressure we don't need to be overcome by the news headlines that are talking of all sorts of terrible things every five seconds, Lord God. Lord, instead, we put our trust in you and that's why we have peace. We put our trust in you. Lord, you have outlined all over the Bible, Lord, that you are the God of peace. Lord, you said in Isaiah 9, Lord, when you prophesied the Lord's birth, Lord, and you said that Jesus would come a child would be born, a son would be given, and a government would be on his shoulder. Lord, and you said that Jesus would be that wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Yes, Lord. And the prince of peace 
is the one that came and has given us so much peace. And Lord, as we look at John 14, 27, again, as Jesus left, it wasn't a temporary peace that he only had when he lived here and he walked on the earth here. Instead, no, he left us with that peace. And it says in John 14, 27, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Oh Lord, we put down all fear today. We thank you that peace is the opposite of fear. Peace is not fear. Peace speaks of wholeness and harmony with ourselves. It speaks of completion and fulfillment. It is a peace that is far beyond the world's peace. It's peace with God. It's peace with you, Lord God. Oh Lord, we love the peace that you give. Lord, we love the assurance that you give. Thank you for your perfect peace, your perfect shalom. Oh, shalom. Lord, thank you that you are Jehovah Shalom. You are the God of peace. Thank you, Lord, that you said to us, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Just as you said to Gideon, do not be afraid. You're not going to die. Lord, we just thank you that you say that to us. Do not be afraid. You're not going to die. You're not going to die because we go to everlasting life with you. Lord, we live on with you and in your presence, Lord. So help us to walk with that assurance and that God perspective, that eternal perspective, that we are in your hands forever. We are in your hands forever and we don't need to fret, we don't need to worry, we don't need to be overcome. Lord, as we put our minds in the right place, which is where you want it to be, in thinking about you, keeping our minds stayed on you and trusting in you, thank you, Lord, that you are keeping us in perfect peace. And Lord, as we pray, about the areas of our lives, Lord, that need to line up with this, to line up with the fact that you are Jehovah Shalom. Lord, would you show us, Lord, how to relinquish all concern, all worry, all anxiety, and invite you to be our Jehovah Shalom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.